All right, so today we're comparing two of the most popular two-in-one laptops, the Surface Pro 8 versus the IdeaPad Flex 5, which differ quite a bit. So as usual, we'll first go over the specs and then talk about who these devices are best for. So let's go over the raw stats. First, the externals. The Microsoft Surface Pro 8 is a premium 2-in-1 laptop that starts at $1,100. With this price, you get many great features, but you don't get the stylus of the keyboard, so keep that in mind. You'll be paying a bit extra for the full package. Now for the IdeaPad Flex 5, on the other hand, it is extremely well-priced, starting at around $850 and even lower than that when it's often on sale. Now, this laptop costs a fraction of the Surface Pro 8, which will make this comparison kind of unfair, but it will make for a more solid understanding of each device's strengths and weaknesses. Plus, it will make the conclusion easier for you. So let's go over form factors. Each device is wildly different in how it presents itself. The Surface Pro 8 is a tablet-sized laptop that is very thin and portable with a 13-inch screen, while the idea Flex 5 is a 14 inch laptop that's not as portable or as thin because it's more of a traditional laptop with its keyboard and screen that are both permanently attached. So weight and size might be important to factor in, especially if you travel a lot. And the Surface Pro screen is gorgeous, with a 120Hz refresh rate and a good resolution. While the IdeaPad Flex 5 is also not half bad, with its IPS 60Hz display that many people have said is a little too dim and a bit hard to see. So for form factor, although I respect the IdeaPad Flex 5's big screen, I gotta hand it to the Surface Pro 8 because of its greater features. But for connectivity, this is where things turn around. The Surface Pro 8 only has a couple USB ports, a headphone jack, and the Surface Connect port, which are okay but could use a bit more. So the IdeaPad comes in with so much more. One less USB-C in favor of two USB-A ports and HDMI, and so much more. Easy win for the IdeaPad. Now onto cameras. The Surface Pro 8 has two, with the rear being able to record at 4K, while the Flex only has one 720p cam, which is respectable, but yeah, the Surface Pro takes this cake pretty easily. So all in all, for the external side of things, the Surface Pro 8 has a better form factor and camera setup, while the IdeaPad Flex 5 has a better price and connectivity. Now for the internal specs, the IdeaPad runs a Ryzen 5 5500U, while the Surface Pro 8 uses an Intel Core i5. And here are the benchmarks. The IdeaPad Flex 5 is a little bit faster than the Surface Pro 8, which is quite surprising. And for storage, the IdeaPad Flex 5 beats the Surface Pro 8 with 256GB compared to 128 I have no idea how Microsoft gets away with putting such low storage in its high-end premium devices, but it does. And in the end, it's usable, but it's not great for most people. But for battery life, this is where the Surface Pro 8 really suffers. I've received a lot of comments and have done research on my own, and it would seem that the battery life of the Surface Pro 8 is pretty variable. In fact, for quite a few people, it can go as low as five hours to just short of eight to nine on average. On the other hand, I've read of pretty consistent on average 10 to 12 hours of battery life for the IdeaPad Flex 5. So that's the real kicker. But in my experience, if you want a device that will last you all day, I'd say either one will do. Just make sure that you test out your laptop once you get it, just to make sure you didn't get a lemon. And for security, each device has its own merits. The Surface Pro 8 uses Windows Hello, facial recognition login, while the IdeaPad Flex 5 has a fingerprint scanner, so you won't need to worry about anyone accessing your device. And lastly, for operating systems, both laptops run Windows 11. In summary for the internals, the IdeaPad Flex 5 is a little bit faster, has more storage, and has a little bit of a better battery life. Now, let's get on to my verdict. So let's address the elephant in the room here. These are very different devices. From pricing to overall form factor, the Surface Pro 8 and IdeaPad Flex 5 are quite dissimilar, I'd say. So let's address the price difference. For me, it's clear. For the price, the IdeaPad Flex 5 is the better option, especially when you get it on sale, which is often the case right now. But that doesn't mean that the Surface Pro 8 is not a good laptop. In fact, in my opinion, it's actually great. It's super portable, premium, and good looking. But when compared to the price of the IdeaPad Flex 5, it can be a hard sell for people. So here's what we'll do real quick. Let's take them at the same prices. I found an IdeaPad Flex 5 that's specced out to be at the same price as the Surface Pro 8. And here are the raw stats. And yeah, the IdeaPad has some great specs. Good storage, good RAM, especially compared to the Surface Pro 8. But at this price point, this is where the competition gets really heavy. Things like build quality, premium features, form factor, they're all weighed in. 
And this is where the Surface Pro 8 lies. Devices like the MacBook Air, although they don't have as much storage or RAM as the IdeaPad Flex 5, are being sold way more. And at this price point, those devices are far more appealing to the common person. So the decision really comes down to two things in this case. Number one, pricing, and number two, your needs. First, if you can't afford the Surface Pro 8, you can always just get the Flex 5 or something like that. Fair enough. But if you can afford the Surface, then let's discuss your needs. I'd say the Surface Pro 8 is a great laptop for those who travel a lot, such as college students or business professionals. You want something that is light and effective at what it does. And if you have extra cash, I'd recommend you buy a more powerful computer to leave at home that you can use to deal with the more demanding work. On the other hand, I'd say that the IdeaPad Flex 5 is a great 2-in-1 laptop that many people have access to at this price point. But it does compete with the Lenovo Yoga 9i at the higher end, which does have more premium features, so keep that in mind. All in all though, this is a purchase that really depends on you. It's a hard comparison, and the best way to really make your decision is to see both in person. So my actual definitive recommendation would be to go to your local Best Buy and check them out for yourself. And then you can buy whichever one fits your needs. But ultimately, all of this is your decision based on your preferences. Don't just watch my video on this. I've linked many more down in the description to view at your discretion. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, pronounced like C-Rooster. Just take out the terror. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your purchase, and have a wonderful day.